though, just in case he does decide to attack some of the other people. And uh, if he does shadow damage, again, I don't know for sure, but... Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, ad's still running, so we're not going to start out for another couple of minutes. But I just wanted to stop in and say, hey, how you guys doing tonight? Glad you can make it out, even though we did get started a little bit late, about an hour late. Um, and already my headphones are dying. That's good. Let me <laughs> let me plug those in real quick. I really should just, like, get into a habit of plugging them in when I'm done with them or something like that. But, you know, that would be smart. And I don't do smart things too often. Uh, goes that way. It's the one big downside with using the wireless headphones, you know? I like that I have less wires on my desk, although it's not <laughs> that much less, to be honest. Anyways, uh, less wires on my desk, but then you gotta remember to recharge them, which is just a pain in the ass. But, again, thank you guys for being here. You're tired but good? That's awesome, Rue. Really, like I said, I'm really happy that uh, you're feeling a bit better today, doing a bit better today. Hey, another vote on your strawberry shortcake, of course. Noodle really wants us to play that Strawberry Shortcake game. And, uh, oh, and you buy it an extra for Kingdom Hearts. Okay. To complete. You got it, man. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> always, always got to get that Scooby-Doo in there, man. Let's go. <laughs> now, I do hope that Scooby-Doo game that we got is pretty good. I, uh, I don't know anything about it yet, obviously. I, I did see the box, but I didn't think to, to actually, like, look into it at all. So, like, I hope it's a good one. I think we got it from, like, a yard sale flea market kind of deal or something like that, if I remember correctly. That might have been one that I bought off online. I don't remember, to be honest, man. It's too hard to keep track of where all the games come from. But, I mean, it's Scooby-Doo. So, you know, hopefully it'll be good. Fingers crossed. Actually, I might have bought that one off eBay. I don't remember. I don't remember. Too many games, too many places. I need to get more games soon, honestly. We're starting to run low. But uh, I'm trying to get a green screen, so I've been saving some money for that. I just haven't picked one out that I actually, like, want, you know? Because I have, like, a pretty limited space to put the green screen behind me, so it needs to be relatively small. It needs to be packed down um, well. But then I also, like, need it to be large enough to, you know, cover my camera's field of view, or at least give myself enough room to, to move around, because I can always crop the camera to fit the green screen or whatever. But anyways, then the only thing that I got to worry about is making sure the uh, the lighting is decent enough that it uh, actually works, because right now my only real light source is behind me. Uh, the camera does have a ring light on it, which, I mean, may or may not help. I guess we'll find out whenever I actually get the stupid thing ordered. But anyways, I think we're pretty much ready to get started. You think what'll be funny? Strawberry Shortcake? One of the Scooby movies we watched was kind of cringe. The the Cartoon Network one, you mean? The one that we accidentally bought the second one or whatever. Um, but it turns out there was a first one that neither one of us had ever seen or heard of. That one? <laughs> we're all set to go to Mesa City. All right, so I guess uh, from the sound of it, we're going to Mesa City. Let's fucking go. Beg pardon, which one? I don't remember the name of it. Do you, Noodle? It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Problem is when the bullied becomes the bully. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boomtown. 
which seems to be what happened here. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard to find, Noodle. It's, uh, I can't imagine Cartoon Network made that many Scooby-Doo movies. Like, I know they, they showed, you know, Scooby-Doo on the, the network back in the day or whatever, but I can't imagine there's that many actual Scooby-produced ones, you know? Though I could certainly be, be wrong. Uh, okay. So we're in a new area. I definitely don't remember this <laughs> at all. So this is basically all new to us. I mean, I did beat the game way back in the day, but it has been a long time. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the ninja spire jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. <laughs> That's a rough translation. God damn it. I hate him so much. Anyways. Yeah, Scooby Doo Curse the Lake Monster. That was that one. That was it. And then, uh, but like I said, that was technically the second one, right? In the series? Because we, we, we didn't know that it was like a, a sequel or whatever. So we, we bought it from, I think it was like one of the, the antique stores in the area or something like that. And then watched it, looked more into it. And that's when we found out that, hey, there's actually two of these. We didn't even know it existed. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, we knew it existed once we found it, though. <laughs> once we bought it. <laughs> and then we looked it up or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I vaguely remember. First one was like, the mystery begins. We still need to watch it, even though that one was a little cringe. Like, it wasn't terrible, though. And, uh, yeah, I want to watch the first one just to, you know, get the full, the full picture, the full view here. Watch it was like, well, what is this? What? The best darn eggs. The best darn eggs, what? In all of America? I'm assuming we can jump off this, yeah. Can't we do, like... So I forget, like, all the moves from last time. Can't we... Yeah, dive. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is slow roll dive. So we should be able to, like... Nope, not like that. <laughs> GG. I was thinking maybe we could dive down on him. I, I think maybe we didn't have enough height to make it work. We're going to try that again. Oh, uh, we lost all our coins. Trash, dude. Trash. Boma and Daphne have their own movie. Wait, like from the same series or... Is it like another series or whatever that they have their own movie in? Like, I could see Cartoon Network doing a spinoff or whatever of that one. But I don't know. I'm still hoping one of these days they do uh, that, that Scooby-Doo Apocalypse. I want to see a film adaptation of that at some point. The comic itself gets a little repetitive, to be frank. But I still think it would be a good animated series. I mean, technically, they could do it live action as well, but I think I think Scooby generally does better animated than uh, live action. I know a lot of people have a real soft spot for those like early 2000s Scooby-Doo movies, and they weren't terrible or anything like that, but I think the animated stuff is a lot better, honestly. I need to get the rest of the comics, too, actually. Because I only have the... Oh, fuck. We're dead. How do you grab onto stuff again? <laughs> it's circle, right? I press circle. Maybe maybe I just suck. I probably just suck. <laughs> Ouch call out. What, do you prefer the, the live action 2000s one? Or... I'm not going to sit here and say they were bad. They were good movies. I watched them a lot <laughs> as a child. But yes, no. The animated the animated series is better, man. The early 2000s cartoons. Yeah, no, well, the cartoons are good. Early 2000s cartoons are good. 
I just think the uh, the live action stuff isn't as good as the as the animated stuff. Period. I like a lot of the spinoffs too, to be honest with you. The, the Scooby Doo spinoff stuff, like the uh, I guess we don't need to go over and collect more of those coins. <laughs> like the uh, God, I'm stupid. <laughs> How do you grab onto shit, dude? Hold on, do we have like a an is there controls? Controls. Turret jetpack. Okay, that's <laughs> That's real helpful, man. Thanks. Pup name Scooby Doo. Yeah, pup name Scooby Doo was good. Uh what's new Scooby Doo was good. I remember there was one made more recently that was pretty pretty decent like There's there's like I said, honestly I like most of them. It's square circle. What is it? How can I not remember, man? <laughs> Mystery Incorporated. Uh, that's the that's the new live action one, right? The the web series version. Or was there a, a animated Mystery Incorporated too? That might be the the semi new one, actually. The semi new. Animated series, maybe called Mystery Incorporated. I don't remember. There's too many Scooby-Doo series. They're all wonderful. Love them. But there's too many for me to keep track of. I can't keep track of my own life, let alone, you know, 30 million animated series and shit. <laughs> Early 2010s, I think. Okay, okay, yeah. I think that's the, the one I was thinking of then. Okay, so it's not going to be triangle because that's our special move. It's got to be circle, because whenever I press circle here, we we grabbed onto that. Okay. Try this again. There we go, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. Why am I so bad at the game all of a sudden? Oh, no, man. We're going to completely game over in the first area of... Uh, what's this called? Something City? Malsa City? Mesa, Mesa City. I don't know. It's fine. We got this. Time to time to get serious, guys. Got to activate pro gamer mode. Let's go. There we go, dude. Beware of dogs. Dogs are mean. <laughs> Hi there, big dude. Uh, you're also creepy as hell. Breaking through walls and trying to beat the shit out of us is not very nice. Hasn't your mom taught you better than that? Wonder if the web series has episode 2 out? I actually checked not too long ago. And sadly it didn't. But I'm sure they're still working on it. Means they're about to switch to a different sector. It also, uh, I haven't checked to see how the whatchamacallit's been going with it because they were working on raising money for it. The crowdfunding. Oh, god damn it. I thought we could walk up that. Okay, we can walk up it, just not very well. God. <laughs> Just creeping ever so carefully, trying not to fucking die. Okay, so if we touch the, the lights, we die. But when it's blinking, it's safe to walk on. Gotcha. Giant spinning balling shit, bro. We go backwards? No. Okay. Oh, I vaguely remember these dudes, the card throwers. I kind of remember them. It's amazing how little I honestly remember. I kind of remember the last fight of the game, but only vaguely. It's like a dude in like an owl mech suit or something <laughs> weird like that. <laughs> Okay. 
that part is is ever so slightly ingrained into my my little mind but the rest of the game not so much man it's all it's all gone gotcha got to fake him out dude oh no with the safe behind that uh fence there i hope we didn't miss one earlier Like, if they had a safe hiding behind the, the first fence that got broke open, the one that kind of scared us. So I can't help but notice there's some, uh, some random frame drops here. It's not too bad, but I don't think we really had any lag up until this point. Look, the koi fish is really cute, don't get me wrong. But it definitely looks like a... <laughs> it definitely looked like a cow from a distance, man. Because, like, I just saw it while I was running to the bathroom. And... <laughs> it looked like a freaking cow. Look, I hit the circle button. I don't blame me for that one. I blame the game. <laughs> of course, it would put us behind this stamper. <laughs> what are you rolling your eyes for, man? It looked like a cow from a distance. Don't be mad at me because your koi fish looks like a cow. There we go. Oh. They got all the fucking security up in here, don't they? Kind of cow has colorful spots like that a beautiful cartoon cow that's what kind i mean it's a squish mallow it's not a real cow <laughs> like obviously i wouldn't see a cow in real life looking like that and be like oh yeah no that's a that's a fucking or a koi fish in real life and be like oh yeah no that's definitely a fucking cow no it's a it's a squish mallow man they all look a little a little whatever Okay, so we got the key, but where's the... Where's the safe? Like, the, the big boy safe for this area. Most of their cows are realistic. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a Squishmallow cow expert. I'll try to do better next time. <laughs> uh... Okay, so we missed, what, five? Yeah, we've missed five and the safe somehow. We go up on top of here? No, no, we cannot. Okay, well, we broke all the security things at least, so it should make going back through this easier. We just have to not fall in the water like dumbasses. Why? Why are these jumps the hardest thing in the fucking game, man? Okay, well, I guess... I mean, we could go forward, but we're trying to go backwards here, so... Is it at least gonna save the fact that we broke all the things? Can I make that jump? Yes. Oh, and there's the safe, but we're still missing two. Where would the last two be? They're not, like, up there with it, are they? Probably not. That'd be too convenient. No, sir. Okay. I'm thinking, honestly, that that fence that the dude broke through, I'm thinking we did miss two, like, right there. Please tell me I can jump up this. Oh, what? Okay, well, there's one. I thought that it was, like, glitched out or something. Maybe this car wasn't supposed to be knocked over. How do I even... Oh, that is a scary jump. Because now we're just missing one. 
So never mind. It's not going to be a safe. Where is it, though? I don't know where else to look. It's probably We probably walked right past it. Like, it's probably right in front of us at some point. Nothing in here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. No, I wanted to change to roll, please. Okay, we ran out there and got that one. We went all the way around there and got those ones. So there shouldn't be any left over there. Wait. No, I thought I saw something. Never mind. I think it was just one of those lamp posts. Looked a little weird. Okay, there's nothing behind that fence. Bro, where's this last one at? Look, I know I'm blind as hell, but like... Can we jump that high to get back over there? Might be better off just restarting the level. Yeah, no. We're not going to be able to get over there. Shit. Okay, well, let's just go to the end of the level, and then if we have to, we'll restart it. Not the whole game, just the level. If we're lucky, maybe we'll just see it on our way back through. Maybe it's like under this car. Can we like break the car or anything? No. Some of them seem like they're going to tip over, so I thought maybe if we stood on it for a minute, it would tip, fall back. Doesn't seem like it, though. Nothing over there. Nothing in here. Stop hitting that button. Nothing here. I'm pretty sure. We got one behind this car. We are just missing one now, right? Yeah. Oh god, we only have one life left, too. Or no, that's how many keys we have. We have <laughs> two lives. Not much better, but it's better than one. Bruh, I know we're blind, but come on. Where the hell is this thing hiding at? I'm going to be so mad whenever we finally find it because I'm, I'm positive it's going to be the one of those things where it's like, been, like I said, <laughs> it's going to be one of those things where it was right in front of us the whole time. Oh my God, we're such fucking idiots. At least we found it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> okay, let's hope this power up's at least worth it, man. We didn't we didn't spend all that time searching for it for absolutely nothing. I would love to. Yes. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila. Dial in 314. 3.14? Was the, the secret note just pi? Just P-I-E? Outstanding. You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Explosive hat. Dude, that's sick. I don't remember that one at all. That power up. That'll be handy for all the things like that, you know, enemies that are annoying that throw shit at us and whatnot. Or like them dogs, if we could just. How far do we throw it? Not very. Oh, that. <laughs> that explosion is very anticlimactic, too, man. Like, I know this is a kid's game or whatever, you know, at least made to be kid-friendly. But I thought it was going to be 
some sort of fireball or something like that. I didn't think it was literally just going to be a little cloud of, of dust pops up, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God, dude. All right, and before we die here. Yeah, again. Got to go at the right time. Now's the time. Bruh, too easy. How did we ever die there? Okay, bad timing. Uh, bad timing. Uh, my god, these things aren't lining up at all. We're on, like, the worst pattern imaginable, dude. There we go, we made it, though. Can't keep us down, man. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That takes way too long to throw. And to activate, actually. Holy shit. Okay, so... <laughs> actually, not good against people that throw stuff. Not even a little bit. Uh, but may be good against, like, those dogs and shit. Because we can get just out of range of them. Throw it down, wait for them attack again, and then blow it up. And presumably that'll work. Oh, shit. I thought we came in from the top, so I was just going backwards to see if there was anything hidden there. I'm not trying to replay level. God, get off the slide. What are you doing? You gotta go in the pipe. Not the side of the pipe. Look at the beautiful city, man. We got Mugshot Casino over there. Where all of the... I don't know. People with mugshots go to gamble or something? Look. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Was that car bouncing around? Is that a hint? Where to go or what to do? Can we, like, start the car up and... Get fucked. This seems perfectly safe. Who decided to take all of these vehicles and just precariously have them hanging off of cliffs and things like <laughs> hey what's up chocobo metal gear solid 2 you got it man i have a strong feeling we're gonna end up playing metal gear solid 2 next <laughs> just based off the votes i mean we have gotten a couple votes in for kingdom hearts but other than kingdom hearts and metal gear solid 2 well that's it no other votes for anything yet dark cloud 2 you got it you got it i haven't even i need to look up and see how much that game is I am curious how it's going to be compared to Dark Cloud 1, too. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Let's do it, Sly. To protect Murray, we can do that. Can we just, like, full auto fucking fire? Let's go, dude. A different game. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, from what I've heard, it's it's a fair bit different, but, you know, has, has like, the soul of the first one or whatever, but I've never played it. Oh, wait, did I just kill Murray? <laughs> Alright, friendly fire is enabled, guys. <laughs> Don't shoot the hippo. My bad. <laughs> Maybe that's why we shouldn't just, uh, fucking full auto rapid fire here. We got this. Too easy, dude. Wait. What was that? What did he get hit by? Did me blowing up that barrel all the way over there? Fucking kill Murray? Let's do it, Sly. 
Like, I know they blow up, but it, it hardly had any particles or anything around it. I didn't think it blew up that large, you know? So, okay. Maybe I should just blow up that barrel now. And, god damn it, those ones over there. Oh, god. Oh, there's one, like, right there. Is that... Did he... Maybe Murray got... Oh, oh, oh I thought I hit Murray. Oh, <laughs> maybe he got hit by them or something, and I'm just blind. No, never mind. It is the barrels. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> at least, I mean, we're still at the very beginning of the level, so the, the game over doesn't really do shit. I guess just ignore the barrels. The barrels are probably just there to stop us from doing, like, constantly firing and shit. Should probably still pre-blow up those ones back there, because I can see those being really annoying later on. GG. The guy gonna appear here? There he is. Another one? Where you at? No, you're gonna spawn somewhere. Come on, Murray. Fucking run for it, dude. You're half done? Oh, God. We're so screwed. <laughs> That electric wire scared me. I thought for sure he was gonna like run into it or something. Uh, excuse me. My package is being looked into tomorrow. What if I don't want anyone looking into my package, man? It's very private, my package. Oh God, sniper? Or no, you have like a Gatling gun? Is that what it was? Holy hell. No, I, uh, I ordered a copy of Tony Hawk Underground 2, and uh, it, for some reason, we got a note saying that $4.50 was owed on the package, um, but when I check on the USPS website, it says that they weren't able to go to the delivery area, but they were on the porch, so, like, I'm very confused about the whole thing. Like, obviously, you made it to the delivery area. You left a note saying that we owed money. And we have you on camera on the porch delivering other mail with the package in your hand. <laughs> like, and then, like, I don't know why I would owe money. Um, but I don't know. Well, we'll find out, I guess. She said, he said. That's, that's a great way to start. It's possible that he put it into the wrong kind of packaging and she told him where it was delivered. Okay. Maybe. I mean, from what we could see from the camera, though, it looked like a normal little priority mail bag thing. Like, I don't know. So, I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow or whatever, hopefully. If I do end up having to pay for it, I'll consider it. But, man, I, I, I don't know. Because, like, it's still a pretty decent deal, right? Because I only paid, like, 2 or $3 for the game and then a few dollars in shipping. So, all in all, even if I pay the $4.50 or whatever USPS says that I have to pay for it to be delivered, it would only be, that would make it, what, $9, $10? Like, so like I said, that's still pretty decent for Tony Hawk Underground 2. So I might end up paying it, but I'm very annoyed about the whole thing at the same time, so... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to just on principle, but we'll see. Oh, what? Oh, he was winging around in the air. I'm stupid. Didn't look any different than the ones you've gotten before. I know, like, that's what I was saying. It looked like the same priority little envelope things that, that I've had video games shipped in many times. But I don't know. We'll figure it out tomorrow or whatever. Plus, I do kind of want the game. Like, I... <laughs> I grew up playing the Tony Hawk games. I really like the Tony Hawk games. And I did get it for a really good price. So we'll see. Dick.
Oh god. <laughs> okay, we dived a little too early. Did he just die? It looks like the dude just died, man. After we were dead and as we were fading out, it looks like he died, which makes no damn sense at all. <laughs> Did he accidentally hit himself with the ball and chain as he was swinging it around? I'm pretty sure that I'm worse at this game now than I was when I was a kid, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I beat this game as a kid and don't remember having all that much trouble with it. And now playing it, I feel like I died just for the dumbest fucking reasons. Never played Tony Hawk. You always played skate instead. I tried skate once. Maybe twice. I don't remember. It was pretty good, but I was so used to the way that Tony Hawk does, like, the... the combos and things like that um that playing skate was just really awkward but i had a friend growing up that absolutely loved skate like that's that was his jam you know Drive the van with the left analog stick, and if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him. Square to boost, drive with left. Okay. Do we have to like? Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. And there you go. You're the new stream boss. How do we? Okay, so there's no like additional accelerator or anything like that. It's just. Can we go any fast? I mean, I know we have the nitro, potentially, but these guys are pulling so far ahead of us, man. Oh, God. Why can't you spam hydrate? Because that would be a bad idea <laughs> for me. <laughs> can't just sit here chugging bottle after bottle of drink. I'm assuming we're going to... Oh. What just happened? <laughs> we went flying through the fucking air, man. Holy hell. I think we must have got stuck on like some piece of geometry in some weird way or some shit. I'd really appreciate if we could go just a little bit faster here, bro. Oh, God. wrong with drinking so much you have to piss every 10 minutes i mean other than the fact that you can actually die <laughs> from drinking too much water um it would also just be very disruptive to the stream let's go dude we're gonna end up getting last fucking place man these guys pulled ahead of us so quick oh god damn it How did they get such a boost on us from the get-go? Like, well, there's fourth place. <laughs> Is it fourth place for key? What the hell? We lost so much momentum on that turn. My God, this vehicle drives so fucking weird. Okay, let's try again. Bang them back? Wait, so is this like? Are we ramming into people? Or are we suddenly playing derby cars? I don't appreciate you guys taking my nitro. I need that to have any chance of winning. You don't think this is burnout? No? You sure, man? It, <laughs> it feels very burnout-esque to me. I feel like we're going slow. Like, I need to accelerate more or something, but we don't have, <laughs> like, none of the buttons accelerate. God damn it. <laughs> it may be the driver. This is this is possible. <laughs> it could be a driver problem. I mean, Murray's kind of useless most of the time, you know? <laughs> Isn't that actually, like, his one job to be the, the getaway driver? 
I'm also wondering if we just should just save up all the nitro and then like use it all at the end. Cause I feel almost like there's a little bit of rubber banding or something going on. It's really weird driving, like accelerating with the left stick, you know? Get out of the way. Okay, there's third place. Oh God, we missed the boost. And another one. My thumb is slipping off the fucking analog stick. No, you bastard. I'm not gonna get it. I mean, better than last time. We we got one more place. It's like that one Genesis bike game where you can hit the other person with a flail. No, and sadly no. Although I did really like that game. I think we had it for the Super Nintendo. Was there a PlayStation One version? I don't know. This one took you multiple attempts. Learn the map. No touch walls. Yeah, for sure, man. Like. <laughs> You slow down it's so much every time you touch the walls, for sure. And I do think it's probably better to save up the nitro and then use it all in, like, one lap or whatever. Or just miss the nitro entirely. That works, too. but I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that one, the saving up the nitro thing. Maybe use it after like the sharp turns because we do lose a lot of momentum around the turns. So that's not a terrible idea. On straight paths, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're already up to third. We're getting there, man. Need this guy to get the hell out of the way. Let's go. Second, just one more guy. One more fucking guy. After turn... Oh, God, no, the wall. Okay, no, we're okay, we're okay. After turn seems to be working out. Yeah, I mean, we lose so much momentum going around the turns. That's why I thought maybe that would be a good time to do it, too. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he didn't fucking grab it. Some mariachi, dude. No, you bastard. Let's fucking go. I was so worried he was going to use that nitro boost there. Oh, God. Okay. That wasn't too, too bad. Just had to, like you said, just had to learn the fucking map and stay off the walls, man. Let's go. Oh. I don't remember these sections at all, man. Like the the shooting to protect Murray, and then the the driving mini game there with Murray. I must have completely wiped those ones from my brain. Also, camera. Oh shit! Oh god, we're dead. Did you get the roll yet? Yes, I do have the roll. I have the roll, the dive, the slow thing, and the mine. So we can just play Sonic instead of fucking <laughs> Sly Cooper. Just roll around literally everywhere. Wait, we missed the level, didn't we? Do we need to unlock the other wheel too? No. Uh, do we just hit the button? Let's go. <laughs> just fucking charge into it there. Let's go, man. Let's do this one, though. The Boneyard Casino. Is this an actual level? This looks like it might be an actual level, based off the fact that we can get the, the key, the save, the time trial. Here we go. This is what I'm here for, man. Let's 
platforming goodness. What do we? Nice job getting in, but Shut look it. out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. Can we hit the machines here? No. Oh damn you! We're dead. How did he even hit me there, man? <laughs> that rocket must have went like did a 180 in no time flat. I feel like that should have hit the, the slot machine there. I guess it'd probably be better just to, like, dive. Oh, fuck. They all chase us down? If one of them sees us? Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God we we got enough coins to get a horseshoe right before we got shot there. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. Who needs a stealth section when you can just murder the hell out of everyone anyways? And that did clear out like all the enemies from the area. I guess that's one way to play, man. And then these things again, do they go to the middle? Yeah, okay, okay. This seems familiar. <laughs> uh, even when we're not playing Metal Gear, we're playing Metal Gear. It won't let you ban an in-game action. Yeah, I think it's disabled right now. It's been a little too disruptive, so I'm trying to figure out a little bit of a better way to do it. BRB, take your time, man. We'll be here. Uh, okay, up and around. Thank God for the glowing blue lights, or I probably would have missed this entirely. Oh, God. Did we just... What just... <laughs> we, like, glitched into the wall? Excuse me, game? I'm glad we didn't, like, clip through the geometry entirely. I want to try and do it again, but I don't know if I can do it again. So I went like... No, okay. So it won't actually like glitch us out. It just kind of glitched us part way in. That was weird as hell. It's fine though. We lived. We lost our horseshoe already, which sucks, but... Everything's fine. Super stealthy. They'll never know we're here. <laughs> Thank God they don't have, like, triggers on the walls or anything like that. To alert the rest of the guards, because we'd be screwed. <laughs> if we can dive all the way over there. Oh, God. Nope. That's wrong button. <laughs> Did we at least get it? We didn't even get a checkpoint, bro. Okay, look. What do we got? We got the dive one equipped. We got this. Everything's fine. Wait for these guys to go. Now beat the shit out of them. No, oh, never mind. Just hit him. Oh, buddy. My heart skipped a beat there. I thought for sure we were dead. I just liked the level so much that I figured we would go through it one more time. Maybe we won't fuck it up this time. Maybe. I mean, we got to kill these guys somehow, right? Do we have the dive selected? We do. G fucking G. Of course, you got to break all the liquor, too, man. The liquor that they're hiding gold inside of, I guess. <laughs> it's one way to smuggle it across uh, the border, county lines. What are they? Why are they smuggling gold inside the, the vodka or whatever that is? I don't know, man. We do have 
dive selected this time, yes. That didn't work. Whatever, we're fine. Hey, we got an extra life! <laughs> Thank God, man. We're gonna need that, I'm sure. Okay, 12 of 40, so we're probably missing a couple things. I see some up there in the bushes. We'll grab those in just a sec. After we get these clues down here. Wait, what? What are we doing here in this thing? Is there... What's the point of that big spinny thing? There doesn't seem to be one. Okay. Just there to make me nauseous. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Nate. What's up? Try rolling in it? Okay. Sure. That's not how you roll. I can't see because... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> if the camera wasn't so fucking trash, man. <laughs> oh my god. But there you go. <laughs> Just roll around in circles in here. Okay, yeah. That's a little <laughs> nausea inducing. Uh, Let's get out of there. Where are we going? <laughs> Glad you hide all your... I was so focused on the notes, I wasn't paying any attention to the guard shooting me. I thought that was a picture of us up there for a moment. I think it's just because of, like, the blue and gray. Like, that could totally be an alt-universe Sly Gooberman. I almost said Spyro. I've been playing Spyro recently. The Reignited Trilogy, specifically the second one on there. So I think that's where I, I confused myself. Get fucked. Got him. I didn't realize we could break some of these. Hopefully there's no notes hidden in any of them. But everyone's having good luck on that stupid thing today, huh? I Can we roll on this? Are we gonna <laughs> It's the same yeah, it's just the same thing. Just, <laughs> just... <laughs> just... <laughs> Sorry, it just looks so dumb, man. Oh my god. I wish we had a little bit better control of the camera sometimes. I wanted to see if we were missing anything. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it. It's probably a good thing, honestly, that it doesn't give us control of the camera when we're on one of those spinny things like that, because I thought that was vomit-inducing. Like, Oh, uh, I think the minimum for slots is 10. I think. Or do you mean <laughs> Nate giving you 1 million points? Yeah, he's been doing that because he... How many were you up to, Nate? Like 7 million or something like that? It was a ridiculous amount. That's that's all I remember for sure. Gave Nate 1 million? <laughs> Just pass them back and forth to each other. <laughs> oh. Chocobo's going to earn his points fair and square. Thank you. <laughs> Uh. I'm sure we're missing notes everywhere, man. There's only seven left. We might be okay. Might be okay. Oh. <laughs> of course, Mr. Noodle tries, and she's the one that loses. Oh, no. Nate's losing now, too. Okay. It's coming back around. The house has got to get their piece at some point. <laughs> oh my 
my god, guys. I'm gonna have to remember, whenever I eventually do get my own bot set up, because I want you guys to be able to use uh, the points from the, the bot, the ones you gamble and stuff, to do things like pay for votes and shit like that. I'm gonna have to remember to stack the odds a lot more in the house's favor, because, <laughs> I mean, sure, Chocobo did just lose all of his points, but at the same time, Nate's sitting over there with... Excuse me, you guys could clearly see that was not an electrified panel that I was standing on, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were standing on a perfectly clear tile. That's a little annoying. Is that a barb emoji? Which one is that? Chad. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, we missed one again. Seriously? Where, bro? <laughs> oh, it's up there. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We just didn't go far enough. I thought it was going to be the, the first level of the stream all over again. We spent 20 minutes looking for one that was right in front of us. What do we got, man? Yeah, Bentley. With the cipher of these codes. Dial three, three, eight. Three, three, eight. I can do that. And what do we get? Yours, technically. Okay. Nate. Unless we do, uh... Uh, Catboys again. Oh, okay, so we got the we got the slow one, and now we can speed up time. We can slow down time. We can speed up time. I guess that's fine if, like, we're trying to figure out a good way to get around some some guards, like, figure out their pattern or whatever. Could come in handy for that sort of thing. Or, like, with this, this spinny wheel here. Got it. Now what? Oh shit, do we need a... S <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh no. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We got it. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. You had a busy week. Then what do you DM me about what sprung yesterday and looked into it today? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, if you can't or, or he can't or whatever, of course, just let us know. I'm sure Catboy would be more than happy to run a game tonight, though. All right, so I think that's everything in this area, right? Which is actually perfect timing because it's time for a break, guys. I uh, hate to spring it on you last second, but I wasn't paying enough attention to it, which I'm so good at doing. <laughs> so I'm going to stand up, get a drink, do all the usual stuff, and then we'll be right back in like uh, three to five minutes, guys. It's not, not Gandalf. I feel like that'd be nice. Roaring Inferno, that's going to hurt everybody. Pretty decent damage on everybody, too. My lord. Oh, wait. And that actually completely drained the AP from a couple people, too. Uh, what? I did not expect that, unless we just happened to perfectly use up our AP. I feel like that drained our AP. Holy sh... Okay. Who would have guessed? Balrog. Very powerful. Uh, thankfully, Idriel was still up and running, which is perfect, because we really need to heal a little bit. Um, holy crap, who do we heal, even? I feel like she needs to heal herself. Give to Galadriel. Use on yourself. Did we get haste up on her yet? I would like to get haste up on her, but I, I don't know if we can. I was hoping to use War Call, but of course we're completely out of AP now. Uh, maybe it'll be worth using a item here. We should have something that does like full heal or something. Restore some health to the entire party. Maybe greater health and action points. You know what? Screw it. Use Bag of Toby. Let's get a decent heal up on everybody, in case the Balrog gets another huge attack here. Use another Bolt of the Valor. 
for another almost 6,000 HP worth of damage. Very nice. For some reason, I don't remember ever seeing this in the movie, man. I don't know. Whip of Fire going for Had Hood here. That might be enough to take him out. Oh, no. Okay. With a crit, it's 776. Not nearly as much as I expected it to do. All right. Actually, while the break is going or the ad break is going or whatever, I feel like it's the perfect time to talk a little bit about the games that we have on our list real quick. Just uh, for the people that can't do spreadsheets or don't like spreadsheets or just don't want to follow the link for some reason or whatever. It's probably a little bit hard to see. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit, maybe. Uh, maybe. Never mind. The... <laughs> it's the not working that's annoying well whatever point is so whenever you first load up the spreadsheet this is what it should look like here uh the ones in gold are the games that we've completed on stream already the ones in blue are ones that we've tried but haven't completed so if you vote on one of those ones in blue it'll go to whenever we decide to complete that game if we decide to complete that game on stream so that one's not guaranteed but you can put your votes on that one if you want to using the channel rewards thing the one in green or the ones in green down here are the ones that we uh, still need to try on stream. Of course, some of them, like say Guitar Hero, have copyright reasons, so we can't really do it. So the votes are set to zero, and it has a little note over here saying that we can't play it. So just keep that in mind. I still want to do something about those games at some point, but uh, for now, I can't really... I can't stream them at least because if we did it would have to be muted and that would be annoying but the big addition we have the games to complete tab over here now so that's just on the bottom if you're not used to spreadsheets again there's different tabs down here there's the games to complete one this is the list of all the games that we uh that i want to complete on stream and the ones in green are the ones that we're going to do you have a ps2 slim i do i do have a ps2 slim uh i have both though i have a fat and a slim uh I don't know why exactly you're asking. Is it because there's one game that's not compatible on PS2 Slim, right? If I remember correctly. But anyways, anyways. Uh, so yeah, so I have all of these games here. The ones in green are the ones that I want to complete soon on stream. Um, and therefore, they'll be the those are the games that we'll be rolling on next whenever we finish up Sly Cooper. The ones in gray I want to complete on stream eventually, but not necessarily right now either because... Sometimes that may be because the games are too long, although right now I have it open to any length of game. Uh, it may be because it's a sequel to another game and I want to beat them kind of in order, something like that. Uh, there could be, you know, any reason. But you can vote on any of these ones to complete as well as any of the green ones. Just remember the green ones are the ones that we'll actually be rolling on next. Right now for that list, we have the bully crash bandicoot twin sandy crash tag team racing dark cloud dead space eternal ring final fantasy 7 dirge of cerberus final fantasy 10 genji dawn of the samurai god of war 2005 grand theft auto san andreas jack and daxter the precursor legacy kingdom hearts Legaya 2 dual saga metal gear solid 2 mortal kombat deception mortal kombat shaolin monks pac-man world 2 ratchet and clank 2002 and 2016 RE4, Shrek 2, The Sims, Spyro Enter, The Dragonfly, Stuntman, Tack and the Power, Juju, The Hobbit, Tie, The Tasmanian Tiger, Uncharted, Drake's For Fortune, and Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. So if you guys, you get basically one free vote. One basically free vote, I guess I should say. It only costs one point every stream, and then you can also use channel points to redeem extra ones. Uh, so yeah, if anybody ever wants to vote on that, you can. I think most people in stream have already done a vote for today, but just future reference and things like that, those are the games you have, and links pop up on stream every once in a while for that. If you ever have any questions, of course, ask, and I am more than happy to share, discuss, talk about, explain, whatever. <laughs> Slim is easy. Yeah, just like that. Chocobo just did one as an example. <laughs> the Slim is easy to hold the sensor in so you can burn a Guitar Hero disc with public domain music. Yeah, I mean, that sort of thing's possible to do. I could do that. The only annoying part about that is uh, that there's like, what, seven Guitar Hero games and then two Rock Band games? One or two Rock Band games on the PS2. So, like, how would you differentiate them for the most part outside of their music? You know what I mean? We might do it just as, like, a, a fun showcase thing at some point or something like that, but I don't know. Well, we'll decide what to do about that eventually, and then uh, when we come to it, we come to it. Because, honestly, that's something that me and one of my cousins used to do when we were younger um, and was just fun to do in general. Uh, you know, playing playing our own custom music and stuff on there uh and then that is technically a way that we could do it on stream and i mean like there's some differences obviously between guitar hero one two three etc etc so 
it's a thing we could do. We probably wouldn't spend like a whole hour or so on it, but maybe we'll do that, play one or two songs for each one or something, and then call that a day. That's not a it's not a terrible idea, honestly. And I didn't think of that one. <laughs> so good suggestion. Good suggestion. It's a good thing he's got that uh, x-ray detection thingamabob, man. Otherwise, <laughs> we'd be screwed. The boss would definitely never hide anything behind a giant statue of his own face. That's totally inconspicuous. How would we have ever figured it out otherwise? Thank you so much, Bentley. So we need seven keys, he said. We got four, so we need three more. Dive. Oh, no. Dive. Down, there you go. How did he see us there? We were above his head, man. I'm calling bullshit. The game's cheating. Can we make that jump? Yes. Straight to the top, man. Let's go. I haven't done that, the editing, the, the Guitar Hero slash Rock Band games in so long, man. I'm going to have to look up, like, tutorials on how to do it again. I remember what me and my cousin, how we used to do it. There was some sort of program, uh, and you would load, like, your music from your CDs into it. And then it would play back the song for you. And then you would hit, like, different keyboard keys to for the different frets so that you could, like, time it. And then once you did a rough draft of it, you would start it over the whole the whole song over. And then you would uh, adjust everything by like milliseconds, how early or how late you wanted, to, wanted it to play. And then you would just repeat that process over and over and over again until eventually it was, you know, close enough. And then you would actually burn it into the disc and play it. And uh, yeah, it was <laughs> it was a pain in the ass, but we did get a handful of songs on there and it was a lot of fun. Honestly, we wasted a lot of discs, though, trying to figure it all out. Started reading a new book. What book, man? Anything we may have heard of? I need to get into reading more again. I just feel like I never have time to really read anything. I'm slowly but surely working on reading uh, the second book in the Witcher series. I'm sure people have already ported public domain music to download. Uh, that's very, very fair. Uh, you're probably right on that. Help. Oh no, that never mind. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, hell, there may be a pre-complete image already ready to go, but that would be illegal, so never mind. Not that, but I'm sure there's like you said, there's probably tracks, pre-made tracks along with the music that I can just import into my own backup of a uh, guitar hero whatever and burn and go from there. Oh. The art of not giving a fuck. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of it, honestly. What's it, what's it, a, is it like, is it a nonfiction book? Is it a self-help book? <laughs> is it, is it fiction? Because I, I could see it being <laughs> like some sort of new age self-help book, to be honest. But I could also see somebody just writing a, uh, like, I don't know, a normal a normal story called The Art of Not Giving a Fuck To. I hear we got the fight music going on right now, but honestly, I'm more curious about clues. There's a dude. Do you have clues over here? You do. You got lots of clues. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. Nonfiction self-help type deal. Pretty decent so far. I kind of figured from the name, but like I said, I would not be surprised, you know, if some, if some author came out and wrote a, I don't know, like a, a teen drama or something like that, you know, <laughs> called The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I actually think that's like the perfect name for a, <laughs> some sort of weird teen drama thing, you know, you got this, this teen 
that's all angsty and, and cold and goes around not giving a fuck about anything and then some tragic event happens and he slowly has to learn to open up to the help of others or some bullshit like that. Like, yeah. I'm kind of surprised that's not a thing, honestly. <laughs> Um, when books get us. <laughs> Forgot to tell you. I don't want to forget again. I have to tell you what shirt your sister wore to the restaurant we went to on Sunday after... Sunday during after church lunch rush. Wait, what shirt did she wear? Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. We didn't die. There's another one over there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I can't imagine it was anything too bad, because if it was anything too bad, your mother probably would have been flipping out the whole time. Come on. Oh my god, dude, that trigger's so slow. I'm sure that mine has a use, but it, like, it's so slow to throw and so slow to use that it's like... I, I, I feel like it's a lot more limited in use than it would be otherwise. She wasn't impressed when you pointed it out. Well, point it out to us. What what shirt is it? Oh, thanks, game. Got any more in there for me? No? Okay. Uh, dive. Instead of all cats, all dogs go to heaven? Uh, it says all... I don't, I think something grabbed it and, <laughs> and, and made it just asterisks. All blank go to heaven really big on the back. I'm, I, I have no idea what it says now. <laughs> because it says blank. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I see why Twitch blanked that out too. That's, that's fine. <laughs> For anybody who's not aware, her, her sister is... Um, well, I don't know if she actually identifies, or what she technically identifies as in the LGBTQ plus, uh, uh, spectrum, but <laughs> she's a member of it and a pretty vocal member of it, obviously, and <laughs> that's hilarious, though. <laughs> Instead of worrying about shit, you just gotta accept that shit and make it so you have better problems, because you're always gonna have them. I mean, that's that's legit, though, Nate. I've never actually read a self-help book before. I'm always a little sketched out by them. Something about, like, the business model of, of selling books to make your life better or something. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. But I'm sure there are some out there that are legitimately helpful. Noodle gets a pass because I do? Wait, you do what? You have one of those shirts too? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> God damn it. Do we have the, the dive turn? Oh. Oh, so if we just wait long enough, they hit themselves? Dude, that'll make it so much easier to kill them. Non-binary is... Well, I know non-binary is part of the LGBTQ spectrum. I just didn't realize that's what you were saying. Reddit, a couple. There's some good ones that aren't trying to sell you on a fix-all. Trying to help with a better mindset and understanding. Which is fair. I mean, like... I guess, honestly, if you think about it, it's not that much different than, like than a book about how to learn a skill or something like that, right? Like programming books that I've bought and read on how to be a better programmer and shit like that. Like at the end of the day, I guess it's not much different than that. It's just, I don't know, like I said, there's some something about it feels weird to me, but I'm not saying they're actually a bad thing. Not at all, dude. 
And at the end of the day, if it's something you enjoy, then it really doesn't matter what anyone else thinks anyways, you know? As long as it's not harming anyone, then read whatever the fuck you want. I absolutely hate whenever people get all, like... Because I like um, dystopian future stuff a lot. Those are some of my favorite books. And a lot of those are written for teens, you know, like young adult novels and shit like that. And while I've never personally had the problem, I've heard of people getting all, you know, uppity about that. Like, you're an adult. Why are you reading young adult novels? Why don't you read a real book or something like that? And like, dude, shut the hell up. <laughs> They're good books. <laughs> I like them. So I don't really give a fuck what you think. Mom was like, why are you laughing? God damn it. I guess we got to climb these things again or something. Look at the shirt and Leighton chose to wear. And she's like, really? And we sat. I missed the message. When we sat down, she's like, oh my god, I wasn't thinking you wore this shoe. <laughs> I said, it's great. <laughs> I'm glad she wore it, dude. That's hilarious. I tell them I don't have time between the anime. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah, I guess I, I guess some people get uppity about that sort of thing, too. Adults watching ca cartoons, as I'm sure they would call them. So whenever I eventually get caught up on Dr. Stone, um, I feel like there was another one I started but I haven't finished yet, too. But whenever I eventually get caught up on those, what anime should I watch next, guys? I'm going to be re-watching Dragon Ball Z here soon, too, but that's more like just something to do on my lunch break sort of thing. Not like actually, seriously, just sitting down and watching it. I mean, I am going to be paying attention and watching it, but you get what I'm saying. I've seen it before, so it's just like, I need something to do. I can put this on, and I don't have to pay 100% full attention to it. A lot of the self-help books you've read are about being more okay with yourself, more understanding of others. See, <laughs> and maybe that's why I'm a little iffy about it, honestly, because, like, growing up in the church, nothing against, you know, Christians or people in the church or whatever, but I kind of have that mindset of, like, people that are preaching these things the most sometimes have not so great intentions, you know? <laughs> just because there's so many two-faced people in the church and shit like that that are just, like, bleh. <laughs> she identifies a bi, but she's a very specific type of man and prefers women. She likes feminine guys. She's very masked. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said I don't know what she actually, like, identifies as. Like, so she... Because, like... She also uh, prefers going by the name Leighton instead of her, her birth name as well. So I didn't know if she was leaning more towards non-binary or what. But anyways, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> I mean, I hear people talking about Neon Genesis so much, man. But yeah, I've never watched it. You're right. I probably should. Oh, Tokyo Revengers. Yeah, yeah. Nate's been talking about that one for a while, too. It's your favorite. I need to... Hold on. I'm going to pull up on my phone real quick. I have a uh, a thing that helps me keep track of shows that I either have watched or need to watch or whatever. Because with a memory like mine, you need something like that or you're screwed. <laughs> like that's the only way I can keep track of things. I think I might have Tokyo Revengers on here already. I think, but I'm double checking. Yeah, that's on my watch list already. Okay, and then Neon Genesis Evangelion. Neon Genesis. Loading, loading, there it is. More ways to watch. Add to watch list. Get that on there so that I don't forget, because otherwise I totally would. Okay, so we just got some blueprints. I mean, I guess that's helpful. I don't remember why exactly. Bentley just said, but I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy putting anime on my list. Oops. She hasn't told you. She has they, them on Instagram, but I don't think she really cares what she's called pronoun-wise. Fair enough, dude. Just give a watch. It's only 24 episodes and the manga keeps getting better. It was just a big reveal in the most recent chapter. 
I can't get that into manga. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. I, I much prefer watching the anime than I do uh, reading the manga for stuff most of the time. Like, I have started reading the Dragon Ball manga. I have the Death Note manga. Um, the Full Metal Alchemist manga. Like, I enjoy them, but I definitely like the shows better. Which is backwards from, like, movies, you know? Movies, I I watch them a lot because they're easy to watch but i generally prefer the the book to the movie but then with with anime and manga it's like the other way around it's weird plus i think part of it is i don't want to be spoiled with with the the anime so i end up like i don't want to read ahead because i don't want to know what's going to happen in the anime next i think that's probably a part of it for me <laughs> DBZ abridged and Final Fantasy 7. I don't remember what the M stands for. Abridged to your list too. I don't know if those will pop up. Because those are like YouTube series, right? I'll check though. Dragon Ball. Z abridged. That's not how you spell abridged. That's how you spell abridged. Yeah, they don't they don't pop up sadly. <laughs> Actually, it's a Plex that I'm using. Because I have my own media server at home and uh Plex has a uh, watch list thing and they aggregate shows from like every major streaming service. To, to keep track of stuff that you need to watch or want to watch and have watched and all that stuff for you. It's not as seamless as I had hoped when they first came out with the feature because you still have to like manually update the list whenever you watch stuff and whatnot unless you have it on your own media server. If you have it on your own media server, then it takes care of all that for you. But if you don't, then yeah, which for most of those shows, I don't. I have Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, but... That's because I bought them and took the time to put them on there. <laughs> and Death Note. That's how I watched Death Note recently. Or watched again, I should say. These fucking guys. <laughs> Just get a room already, guys. Oh, shit. Thank you for pointing that out, Rue. Holy hell, we've probably been playing for like a half hour without the game audio on. I'm surprised no one said anything, but thank you for pointing it out. Because, yeah, I would have I continued to miss it for Lord knows how long. Thank goodness there was at least subtitles on that part. Nay, I don't know why you even check how many points you have anymore. The answer is always going to be too many. <laughs> Since the casino. <laughs> I had it turned off because uh, I was showing the the spreadsheet. And then I just, yeah, forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> You're a professional love. Thanks. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> oh. Look, it's fine. It's Sly Cooper. It's not like the game's super story heavy. There is obviously lore, but it's it's much more about the gameplay. What kind of pistol has an arc like that, dude? I mean, I guess her fancy shock pistol, but... Uh, I don't want to die. Where's it going? Over there. We're good. Gucci. No, oh, fuck. We're fine. Everything's fine. Just keep running. 
Is that not a safe? Oh, that's a broken TV, not a safe. I was sitting there trying to break it, thinking we would get more things. Oh, that was scary. I thought for sure we were dead there, man. You're not doing shit. Car Carlita Fox? That's her name, right? Something along those lines. Chikubo goes all in, wins big. Awesome. <laughs> oh, God. I just don't understand how you guys amass such for fortunes with a 50 50 game. I mean, I guess if you keep going all in, you'll lose it eventually, at least. <laughs> That'll even it out. 26. Okay. So there may be four in that safe. But we got to figure out how to safely get to the... Oh, there's two safes. Well, then shit. Yeah, that should be all of them. How do we get to that one? Oh, that's... Hmm... Do we have to go up and around? I think we need to go up and around, maybe. How do we get up? Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for five more bits. Love, I appreciate you. There we go. We have dive. We do. And dead. G freaking G. Sir. What are we getting? Good thing I know Navajo code talk. Hey, I remember the dude that was in here last time was talking about that. I don't remember the, the person's name, but apparently Navajo Code Talk is a, a World War One, World War Two thing. Well, I mean, it's it's just the Navajo language, but they called it Navajo Code Talk in oh, one yeah, of the World Wars. Will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Oh, thank God, dude. That's fucking, that's actually huge. <laughs> we've died more times to water during this stream alone than I think we have the entire rest of the time we've been playing the game. <laughs> like, thank you for that. And if I remember correctly, during the... Oh, hi there. Uh, during the end of the game, like the the final boss fight doesn't that take place in water too i don't remember for certain but i think whenever you're fighting the giant mech dude owl mech bro i think there's like surrounded in water i see a message but i can't read it hold on we're being shot at <laughs> lady is simultaneously obsessed with us and wants us dead so that's how you know it's true love <laughs> okay we don't really need to worry about collecting anything at this point I'm gonna hunt you peace down, <laughs> Can't run navajo that's mildly encrypted that would make sense i know nothing about it though from what that guy was saying though or person was saying i think it's just uh i think he said it was literally just the navajo language but it would definitely make sense for it to be encrypted in a military sense you know military uh oh my brain doesn't work usage scenario there you go i think scenario that's a word Okay, so we're missing a level somewhere. We did that one. That one. I don't think we've done that one yet. Military bacon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, I'm freaking hungry, man. Noodle, are you still are you still around? Are you still listening? Cuz I think I know what I want for dinner tonight. Burgers. Unless we have more stuff that's like gonna spoil way <laughs> just bacon just just bacon for dinner just want a pound of bacon fried up uh not quite crispy though does anyone else like their bacon kind of floppy 
I know myself and Noodle both prefer it that way, but I definitely prefer my bacon like cooked, but not not crispy, you know, unless it's going on a sandwich. If it's going on a sandwich, then having it be a little bit crispy is good. But I don't I don't want it like when I'm just eating bacon, I want it to be kind of soft, man. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people prefer it the other way around, though, and I, I just don't understand it for the life of me. I've always been a, a soft bacon kind of guy. Kind of yes, kind of no. You like chomping into it? <laughs> so it just, for you, it just depends then. Whatever, whatever your mood is for that day. Can you hit yourself? Come on. Softer bacon, yes. Soft bacon's good bacon. That's my feelings on the matter, but... Oh, no. Can we... Can we go back and get that one? You thought you didn't like bacon, then you just found out your mom cooked bad bacon? That's like the story of Noodle's life, man. Like... <laughs> There were so many things that she used to tell me that she did not like. Like, um, the one, one of the ones that always comes to mind is fish. Like, she always told me that she hated fish, would not eat fish. And then, but I like fish, so I would cook it every once in a while. And then one day, I was cooking fish, and, uh, she smelled it. And she was like, what is that? It smells really good. And I started laughing, and I told her, I was like, it's fish. She said, nah, -uh. and I said, yeah, and she said, can I try it? <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, of course you can, dude. And, uh, hey, turns out she likes fish. Her mother just didn't know how to freaking cook it, man. <laughs> Which is just, uh, but I have a similar story. I mean, almost my whole life, I thought I didn't like beans, but it turns out that it was just the way my family always cooked it. You know, it was like either baked beans or lima beans, right? Out outside of chili. Um, cause I did always like chili, but outside of that, that's the only way we ever really had beans. Um, and it turns out I just don't like baked beans or lima beans, but I love the rest of them. I freaking love beans, dude. Much to the chagrin of, of Mr. Noodle, cause, <laughs> cause I cook beans all the time and she still hates those. And, uh, I mean, it's well known at this point, I think that beans have a tendency to make you... <laughs> make you shit yourself a little bit every now and then you know what i mean so uh yeah <laughs> she's not a fan of that either after i eat a bunch of beans and i'm <laughs> walking around the house just uh with a little bit of a bloated stomach <laughs> who does the laundry mostly noodle you want to know why noodle mostly does is the one that does the laundry because she's very peculiar about it and gets angry whenever I do it. Because <laughs> I am not particular about the laundry at all. Can we go down there? No. Okay, it won't let us go down there. When I do laundry, dude, it's just throw everything in the washer. And then when it's done, throw everything in the dryer. Like, that's how, that's how I do laundry. He doesn't fix the socks. Yeah, when, like, socks are rolled up or whatever, I just throw them in. Like, they still wash the same either way, but Noodle swears up and down that they don't. Oh, uh, was this, like... I guess that was probably another way. Those those hooks were probably another way to get the... All the things, but we just did it the hard way. How many are we missing? Ten. Oh, God. Well, shit. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't think there's a way to go back up there, so we're gonna have to be redo this one now. That's annoying. Especially because we're probably, like, at the end of the level, too. Pro tip, only own black and blue clothes. <laughs> so you just don't have to worry about it, man. I like it. I like it. Throw a softball into the washer. You side with Noodle on the socks. It makes no difference at the end of the day, though. Like, once they're once they're washed, dude. Like, they go through the wash the same way. They come out clean. Like, they don't stink or anything. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Noodle's also particular about things being dried, though, too. Like, it's not just the socks. They also get very upset whenever you don't... 
like separate out all of the like particular shirts and things like that which i get i guess because like she's worried about them them shrinking or in some cases you know they might have like graphics on them or whatever but like dude i don't know it doesn't matter to me it's just <laughs> they're clothes they're gonna they're gonna get messed up sooner or later and then i'll just buy a new shirt like it's fine balled up crunchy damn sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can leave it balled up, but I would prefer if it wasn't damp. Look, if if the dryer is going to dry the fucking, like, jeans and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure it'll dry a balled up sock. Oh, God. I'm very annoyed that we missed one. One freaking thing, and we have to replay the level to get it. You want your feet in clouds. <laughs> I don't even like wearing socks, though. Maybe that's part of the reason why I don't really care so much. Because uh, I'm a, I'm a no-sock kind of guy. I, I wear socks when I wear shoes. But other than that, I prefer not to wear socks. They just... They, like, they pull the little hairs on my toes, and... I don't know, they're just uncomfortable, dude. I want my feet free to breathe. I don't want them constricted. Yeah, Noodle hangs up basically all of their t-shirts. It's crazy. No, I haven't done that. <laughs> I've been washing clothes since I was like 12, and no, I have not come across a still damp, balled up sock. This is true. So we know where we're going. We just need to get to the end of the level. Or near the end of the level. So we can get that one stupid thing. It happens? I mean, I'm sure it does. Especially since these days we, uh... Our, our dryer's a little iffy, honestly. So we do... Dry our clothes for, like, the minimum amount of time that we can. So, like, I'm sure that's probably a part of it, whereas growing up, you know, I, I didn't have that worry. I just threw them in for whatever the max time was and let them go. So, I'm sure that that's probably part of the reason why they may still come out damp. Like, I'm not saying you're crazy, Noodle. I'm sure it does happen, but I've never had that happen. So, I don't really worry about it. Oh, you do put them in for max time now? Oh, yeah, but we have it on low right instead of like the the medium or high setting or whatever we have it on the lowest setting speaking of clothes what'd you say i missed it you have a shit ton of shirts to put away that's another thing that i was terrible about while we're talking about clothes was actually like putting them away I just, you know, just, <laughs> just put everything and just shove it in the drawer, dude. Like, <laughs> shove it in the drawer or just leave it in the dryer after it's dried. And then I just go in and get them whenever I need them. Whenever I lived alone, that's the sort of thing I would do. Just, <laughs> it's in the dryer. I know where it's at if I need it. Like, <laughs> uh. oh my God, Noodle loves her t-shirt folder. It's like, uh, in case you're curious what a t-shirt folder is, it's basically one of those, uh, like what they use in stores and stuff like that, is what she's talking about. Where you just, you put it on this little table looking thing, and then you just fold the table up, and then it's done. Like, I could have broken this you're at 16 mil, Nate? Holy the hell, dude. Is five, six, five. Five, six, five? Do you guys still use the homemade one that you made, Noodle, at the store? I would have assumed you guys would have just bought one by now for the store. <laughs> like, honestly, it's kind of surprising the store didn't just already have one. Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake stand-ups 
of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Cool, cool. We can make decoys now. I'm sure that'll come in handy someday. How does... <laughs> How does that trick anyone, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it looks like just a black cardboard cutout of ourselves these criminals obviously aren't uh particularly smart man oh they are still using it that's good so i'm still surprised they didn't just buy one though <laughs> you know it is it is a store a place of business after all And you guys fold a fair bit of clothes. It would make sense to just kind of... Yeah, the store. I'm surprised the store doesn't have one. Like a like an actual bot one. Oh, fuck. I forgot to hit the actual lever. <laughs> where we were. I mean, I know. I know where you work is cheap as hell, but like... Bro, I remember somewhere my sister used to work. She started messaging me one day asking if uh, I knew of any like cheap monitors for sale in a very particular size and spec because <clears throat> the monitor that, that showed the orders um, broke and the, the manager was too cheap to buy a new one. So the store had to raise like 50 bucks or something like that to try and get a used one from somewhere. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. And this is it? You're a monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Hey, wait a sec. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow. You're a Cooper? You know that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big words. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock. He's complaining about too many big words, and then he's using words like transgressed and violated. I feel like those would more or less qualify as big words, man. Okay, how do we... Ow, not like that. Okay, nope. All the mirrors, okay. How do we get him to hit the mirrors without... I guess we just have to jump. Yep, not like that. <laughs> Maybe jump before the bullets hit us. That's a pretty decent idea. Uh, that didn't seem to work. Okay, that didn't seem to work either. Oh. I need to smack the mirrors. I thought maybe if his bullets hit the mirrors for some reason that would... That would damage him. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know why exactly. Uh, bullets would bounce off of mirrors, but like, I don't know, man. It's Sly Cooper. <laughs> it doesn't need to make sense. So what, we just had to light them all up. Stage two, let's go. Same thing again. Oh no, do I get hit? Fuck, dude. This is a lot harder than I remember being when I was a kid, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, uh, also, being able to slow down time might come in handy here.
maybe? Not really, I guess. Which one are we missing? Corner. Oh, two of them, actually. This one and that one. There we go. GG. How is lighting up all the lights destroying his gun, though? I really wish we could, like, lock on to him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God. How many more? Good. Oh. <laughs> I'm ruined. <laughs> you cannot get lucky at all, man. Only Nate's allowed to, uh, to amass the fortune. Oh, shit. I'm a dumbass. Okay, this makes sense, because presumably here we're gonna shoot the sunlight at him. But lighting up all the lamps with the sunlight makes no damn sense to me, man. I thought it would, like, blind him or something, but... No, apparently it destroys his guns. <laughs> Alright, I guess it just hates Chocobo. Is what it actually is. <laughs> is that 16 million points, Nate? I think you need to just go all in right about now. I wish we could lock on to him, man. Damn it. The game's taking pity on us. It's giving us... Uh... <laughs> Horseshoes now. Just one, though. Okay. Is that it? Stage one done, or two done. Okay, so when we're behind the mirror, we should be safe, right? Does he shoot, like, on a timer? Oh, it flips the mirror back around. Okay, so we don't want him shooting at the mirrors. Come on, shoot. Looks like we actually have a... I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I thought he was getting ready to shoot, man. So I jumped and then he like tracked us. I guess maybe maybe we need to wait until a little bit longer in the animation, like whenever he actually starts the shoot. The fucking read on that? I know, man. <laughs> like I thought we were good. He started the animation for it and I was like, alright, yeah, now's the time to fucking go. And then he just tracked us. Perfectly. Shot us in the fucking face. <laughs> like Okay. If we can save our horseshoe for the next section, I think that'll help a ton. Is that the last one? It is. Oh, let's go. Okay. Don't fall off again. <laughs> okay. Wait for it. 
I think we just had to wait like a really long fucking time, man, until like the bullets are leaving his gun. Yeah, yeah, no, you just have to wait until the bullets are leaving his gun. Otherwise, he'll mess your shit up. Damn. Whoa, he started shooting mid jump. I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to put a snooze on the ad because I want to finish this boss before we uh, take our next break. Uh, hit the thing, hit the thing, please. There we go. One down. Need a cutscene skip, please. We got this. This is the this is the run. I say as we almost just walk off the fucking platform to our death. Good. We're good. We're good. Last one. You're ruined now? Wait, what? How are you ruined? <laughs> That's still, what, 5 million points? Oh, shit. I need to pay attention. Let him shoot. Come on, guy. They say atop a mountain of gold. Exactly, yeah. Gotta stay focused. You know what? I guess it would be okay if he shot a mirror that we haven't turned yet. So I can make this a lot easier by just, yeah, not being a dumbass. <laughs> Dude, that makes this... <laughs> I don't know how I didn't think of this before. Wait, have we not turned? Oh, the shit, there's still one more. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna take our time. Let him flip it back around. That's fine. Hit it. Get to the next one. Let's go, dude. This is impossible. Get fucked. A little bit Fucking that one. You wrote a nat a one on a D100. Oh, boy. <laughs> you want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to hate and then believe you me you don't want to be you mugshot section of Ephebius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor Tennessee Kid Cooper his specialty was the rail walk and rail slide moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of the Mugshot's badge. gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. All right. And with the finishing up of that level, I think it's the perfect time to take another quick break. I'm going to stretch my legs, get a refill on my water, run the ad, and then we'll be right back, guys. That's good. I, I'm perfectly happy with that. <laughs> All right, let's get a big heel up on the dwarf here on Hat Hood. I feel almost like we should taunt with him as well, but I'm worried about... I'm worried about uh, what other moves he may use. But if we keep using Crippling Smash, maybe we can stop him from ever... Oh, no. Okay, he's immune to being able... Or to being slowed with his attacks. I mean, that makes sense. I should have known. All right. With all of the AP that we have now, we are going to use War Call. Get two free attacks on him here. Hopefully, they will end up being Ganondorf... Or Ganondorf? Uh, wrong game. 
Ganondorf. <laughs> yes, Bolt of the Valar. If you want to use that again, that would be perfect, Gandalf. You want to you go one more? Oh, no. Just a regular attack from Idriel. I wish we could pick the attacks, but oh well. We'll take what we can get for sure. Bolt of the Valar again. Get another big hit of damage on him, please, and thank you. Pillar of Wrath. What the hell? This does not look like it's going to be pleasant. Another thousand damage. Oh, Barathor, 76 HP left. Holy crap, man. Okay. And drained H or AP entirely again on Hadhood and Barathor. Oh, man. Okay. So, well, thankfully, Idriel is still up and alive. Um, I feel like Gift of Galadriel is in order. And then we may just have to do a couple heals with... And we may have to use another item for a heal. This is crazy, man. I did not expect to take this much damage. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we don't know what he's going to do attack-wise. I'm tempted to, to just attack, but I think we have to use a big heal. Um, something that restores greater health. That's great action points. Restore full health. That's maybe a little more than we need. Some health to the party. Action points. Some health and action points. Full health to the party. That's maybe a little more than we need. Greater health to the party. Okay. A lot of party-based heals here, which isn't really what I was hoping for. But may just be what we have to accept. Yeah. I don't know what that elf thing is. Elf medicine here. But we can't seem to use it. So, I guess we're just going to have to do greater health to the entire party. And hope for the best. And he says he has a spider colony in the side room of your basement. Bro, what the hell is going on in your basement, man? <laughs> They're just having a party down there? <laughs> yeah, basements, I feel like, are always really bad about that. At least I know my basement is. I don't see that many spiders, but I can see all their webs and cobwebs and shit. So, I know that they got to be down there. Sadly, I think Barathor is dead now. Yeah, Barathor is down. Holy crap. Tons of damage, man. Suddenly, very powerful boss. Like, out of nowhere. She lost her AP this time around. Do we have an item that will let us heal someone? Revives a knocked out character. That's why we couldn't use it. Okay, we have a bunch of it. So, yeah, definitely go ahead and get that up. Thankfully, it heals with a fair bit of health, too. Because Barry Thor needs it. He says so many webs. <laughs> yeah. I uh, That's what I was just saying, man. I can always see all the webs in mine, too. So I feel your pain. All right. Uh, who's up next? Barry Thor is actually the next one up. He has no AP at all. I feel like we have to get another big heal on the party, though. Um, so maybe another Ent Draft. I'm tempted to do a full health on the party, but no, we're just going to do this one. Hopefully that's enough that nobody dies whenever it comes back around to him. Alright, do we have enough to use any melee attack that lowers armor rating of foe? I feel like he's probably going to be immune to that. But at the same time, it's it's worth a shot, right? Uh, okay. Well, it did 1,471 HP worth of damage, but it doesn't say anything about whether it helped us heal or not. Or not heal, whether it helped us... Uh, Take down his armor value. Oh, you just found an old copy of Fable 2 while you were down there. That's cool, man. Do you have a uh, Xbox One or 360 or whatever to play with? On? I mean, not with. Pillar of Wrath again. This may end up killing a dude or two. I'm just hoping Idriel ends up being alive. Man, Barathor down again. Taking 2,000 HP worth of damage. Almost 2,500. That's insane. Uh... Man, I don't, I don't know what to do here. Okay, uh, Elf Medicine. Get him up again, and then we're going to have to do a full heal. Use the item for the full heal. I was trying to, to avoid doing that because, I mean, obviously it's expensive. But, yeah, I mean, otherwise we are just dead. So, where, where was it? And Drought Flask, was that it? No, that's greater health to the party. Whatever it was, we only had one. Waters of Lorien. Yep, full health to the party. Gonna have to drop that. And then that takes us over to 
Gandalf, who can't actually do anything because of it. Hello, guys. We're back. <clears throat> Probably should have taken a drink on my break. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that now, actually, because I am a flemmy. <laughs> what? You don't like steak, Mr. Noodle? Now, Noodle doesn't like thinking of where food comes from. <laughs> where me doesn't bother me one bit. Mm. I love the meme. I've seen it before. Where it's like, uh, would you still eat steak if it was branded, like, uh, with the name of the animal it came from or whatever, you know? Like, if it had a sticker on it saying bessie on the front of it or whatever shit you know and then somebody replied saying i would try to find one with my name like the coca-cola bottles <laughs> that's, that's me <laughs> that's what i would do man <laughs> like give me the one with my name on it that's the one i want to eat let's go the third member of the fiendish five was the infamous voodoo priestess ms ruby Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Yeah, it almost makes you feel bad for him, doesn't it? Have you ever tried tofu noodle? It tastes nothing like meat, obviously. Like, it's not a replacement for it, but we could eat more of that in our diet, me and you. If you like it. I know I'm okay with it, like, depending on how it's prepared, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. You know, like try new though. I mean, I know that, but like, <laughs> I'm trying to put less meat in our diet since you know you don't <laughs> like the idea of it. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure, I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity, but that's not the problem. This swab is. <laughs> Suck it up, Bentley. We got Check work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from mugshot section of the CVS Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around no. here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. I don't know how Chocobo doesn't have diabetes, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's terrible, man. <laughs> We're not replacing meat with candy. <laughs> oh, man. You might eat on I fair, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that's right. We can fall in the water without instantly dying. Oh, God. Okay, vines are slippy. Anyways, Noodle, if you're willing to try it, I, I say we try some, some tofu in one of our foods and see if you like it. Said so I'm not going to replace all my meat with tofu because I also really enjoy meat and I'm still going to use, like, broth for things. So, like... Not getting rid of that either, but <laughs> we can we can eat less meat, which honestly would probably be good for us and and the world as a whole. It's uh, I don't think it's it's too um. Yep, words too too controversial to say that eating less meat is generally good for people and or the environment. Make any second guess on me. Did you really buy a five pound bag <laughs> of candy? Oh my god, dude. It's terrible. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so we can't reach that. What kind of had such a sweet tooth the last couple of weeks? Mm, 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 mm. I like candy, but not that much, you know? I enjoy a good reason or, or Charleston Chew. Reese's Take 5. Frozen Reese's Cups. Like... But I couldn't see myself just downing a five pound bag any anytime soon, like. Okay. Oh, you checked, it's only three pounds, okay. Well, that's better then. If it's only three pounds, then I mean. <laughs> oh. How do we get to the top? Your toe hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. If you just came into stream one day and was like, turns out guys, I'm extremely diabetic. <laughs> like <laughs> Doctor say if I eat one more piece of candy, I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> just eating casually eating three pound bags of candy like ah oh, damn it did we die we died noodle had a nap today it's true noodle did have a nap today <laughs> noodle <laughs> noodle has a problem with with uh saliva Maybe three days. <laughs> the worst part is, I can't even tell if you're joking or not. Like, <laughs> that's the worst part of it. Like, because <laughs> I hate I hate to be the one to tell you, but <laughs> a pound of candy a day is still not particularly good for you, man. <laughs> Maybe this is the time to use the mine. Okay, I mean, it worked, but it only did, like, one hit of damage anyway. So, I don't... Really don't think the mine's worth it, man. Uh, dive. Dive. Son of a bitch. Okay. It's like homemade icing. That's nasty. <laughs> For anyone who's curious, because, I mean, outside of myself, Chocobo, and Noodle... Nobody probably knows what the hell is going on right now. Uh, we were outside one time, myself and, and Chocobo, and uh, they spit on the ground. And then we came back to the same spot like the next day, and it was like glazed <laughs> onto the sidewalk where he spit at, man. <laughs> like it was. <laughs> Just, so we made the joke that it was because of the extreme amount of sugar <laughs> that he eats every day. That it just fucking, <laughs> all the sugar in it. <laughs> fucking solidified on the not even solidified like coagulated whatever the fuck you want to call it onto the fucking sidewalk it was hilarious and yes a little bit disgusting at the same time caramelized there you go yeah sun cooked the sugar down into a nice caramel <laughs> stop alright we'll stop sorry noodle <laughs> Noodle's having a tough time over there. <laughs> uh, that's not quite true, actually. It uh, you have stomach acid, you have salt, um, water. If you have blood, like actual, actual red blood cells in there, that might be a problem. <laughs> gonna slide down this no, no okay <laughs> noodle so dramatic man That's extra flavor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love that taste of rust in my mouth, man. Wait, I wasn't paying any attention to what he said. What? What are we doing here? <laughs> what? How do we kill these guys again? 
I'm assuming we can't just hit them. Or no, that... Okay, hitting them works. So they're not special. It's fun. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, Noodle... Blood doesn't bother Noodle until I start talking about wanting to make, like, blood pudding. Or, uh, fun fact, blood is a... Can be used as a replacement for eggs in different in different recipes, so I want to try that at some point too. <laughs> for some reason, she doesn't like the idea of that though. I just want to know what like what it would taste like, you know? Where to get the blood? Pig's blood. You can buy it. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure you can buy, like, buckets of it, but, uh, I imagine, like, a butcher or someone would probably be able to source that for you relatively easily. <laughs> Gonna use it to replace egg and cake? Yeah, you could replace egg and cake with it. You can just straight up cook it, like if it were eggs, like... Like, it's, it's weird, man. I just want to know, like, how it would taste, because I know, like, whenever you cook steak... Now, technically... Most of the juice in steak that comes out when you cook it is in blood. Like, there's very little actual blood in steak. But, uh, regardless, when you're cooking one, like, it coagulates on the, the pan from the heat and whatnot. And that stuff tastes good. But, <laughs> Noodle's making a note. Don't eat cake from Nate. Oh, thank God that we got that thing where we don't die in water, man. <laughs> We'd be, we would have died, like, what, six times in this fucking level? I kind of wish it would give us the clues and we could try and solve it. All about that tingling sensation, man. Gotta build up all that static. Zap people with it. Oh god, I must jump straight into the water. So wait a second. It's just... It's always working. So if we touch someone while we're rolling, they just die now? I mean, I'm assuming getting hit would still be bad. Like, <laughs> like we probably don't want to get hit by stuff even when we're rolling, but still. Wait a second. Uh... What am I, what am I doing wrong here? Do we need to put out all the candles? Okay, yeah, 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 there we go. Wait. <laughs> yeah, how do you call bullshit on that? Like, there's videos of it working. <laughs> oh, she doesn't think it would make holding faster. Okay. Uh, I think it depends on the person, right? Like, if you fold a bunch of t-shirts, you know, like every day or whatever, then yeah, I'm sure you could fold it just as well faster. But if you don't fold very many t-shirts, like I know I don't fold very many t-shirts, so it's definitely faster for me to use one of those and have it come out well, right? Like, I can fold t-shirts quicker than I could could with that, but it wouldn't be, yeah, like Noodle said, it wouldn't be as neat. It wouldn't be as as well folded. No, they suck. I like them, honestly. Call temple, let's go. But I also hate folding clothes though, so like <laughs> that's probably the reason why I like it. Like I said, if you're if you're decent at folding shirts, then yeah, it's probably not worth it or whatever, but I'm not only not decent at folding shirts, but I hate it. Oh, 
the frame rate in this area is kind of trash. Does he ever do anything? How do we get... Oh, that ledge is tiny, bro. You have no idea what she's saying. It sounded like gibberish. It basically was. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't paying any attention to what she was saying, so... Pick out your shirts for the day with that trick. If you do the stand-up trick, you can see... Oh, you're sure? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how Noodle puts, like, clothes in our doors. So that we can easily see what's what. Wait, was that a ghost? Maybe Bentley was right. Excuse me, game. I was trying to... Circle. Circle. There we go. Did I answer your question? Uh, probably not. What was your question? I must have missed it. Yeah, I've kind of already seen ghosts, dude. You don't have to tell me. Do I need anything when you come up? Not that I can think of, no. If you don't mind preheating the oven in like a half hour or something like that, 20 minutes for burgers tonight, that would be cool. But if you're coming up now and not going back down, then just go ahead and start preheating the oven now. You're telling me that's a little bit late, dude. I've kind of already smashed the ghost generator. You're just getting the hearing aid. Oh, okay, okay. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna buy one, um, Noodle could probably send you a YouTube video on how to make one, because Noodle made one for herself at one point, point. and all that costs is a piece of cardboard and some some duct tape for reinforcement, like stuff you probably already have laying around the house. No wonder it's lagging so bad, man. Look at all these lighting effects. Fancy. God damn it. So all the candles have ghost generators on them? Oh, that was all of them. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. I feel like we're missing shit everywhere. But I don't see anything else. Like, <laughs> How many more things do we need for this level? Yeah, no. We only have 11 out of 40. Like... Nothing else hiding behind here. Can we fit through there? Yeah, dude. Let's go. I hate whenever you're playing a game like in this instance and we're going around this thing and our walk speed is faster than this thing spins around. Like they don't match up. Usually it's annoying whenever like you have someone following you or whatever. And, uh, or you're following a person and your walk speed and their walk speed don't walk or line up, that's annoying as hell. It's not as bad in this instance, I guess, but. Do you need some noodle? I'm just watching in person instead of <laughs> downstairs? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> what? You're reading. Oh, okay. Okay. You're not gonna say thank you or anything? Oh, she said she knows. <laughs> She's not going to say thank you or anything like that, no. 
Just, she knows. She knows she's the best, Rune. <laughs> don't worry. You don't need to tell her. <laughs> She left the room, but I'm sure she'll see your comment in just a moment. <laughs> oh, she's reading it now. She came back in the room just to read it. <laughs> she's a weirdo, man, I swear. She's my weirdo, but she's a weirdo. <laughs> I do like in this area, there's not so many people with, like, flashlights setting off alarms, at least, right? It's just weird creatures trying to murder us, that's all. Hey. Okay, we're still missing 18, though. Either there's a lot more to this level, or we missed a big cache of clues somewhere. I'm hoping there's just a lot more to the level. Give fuck, ghosts. 27, 13. There's a safe. That'll have a couple in it. Giant overgrown mosquitoes. See, Noodle, you hate mosquitoes now. What if they were running around looking like that, dude? You'd probably never leave the house. Hell, I would probably never leave the house if mosquitoes were running around looking like that, dude. Those things aren't just gonna have a little taste of your blood. Those things are gonna suck you fucking dry. <laughs> like... <laughs> There's one there. We're still missing seven, though. Oh, wait. There's a couple safes back here. Uh, no. I feel like we're going to be short by one. Worse, three. We're going to be short by three. Son of a bitch, dude. Doesn't bother you as much as dog-sized centipedes? Aren't, like, large centipedes an actual thing? I don't think dog-sized ones. But aren't there ones the size of, like... I don't know. Your hand? Bigger than your hand, I guess? Maybe they are dog-sized. <laughs> I don't know. There is something kind of creepy about centipedes. I will give y'all that. But, like, Noodle, for instance, hates those house centipedes. Uh, I don't remember what they're actually called. But, uh, like, they don't bother me that much, man. Now, anything giant, I guess, has a lot more creep factor to it than, you know, some normal size. So, yeah. If a, a dog-sized centipede started running around, it'd probably be a little creepy. Just casually walking through my house, like... <laughs> I probably wouldn't like that too much. Okay, we need to pay attention for three. Three more clues or a safe. Maybe a safe somewhere. Chinese centipedes are nightmares. Hold on. That might be what I'm talking about. Chinese centipedes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. You're talking about those big... Like, the ones I was talking about. The ones that are, like, the size of your hand. Or a little bit bigger than your hand or whatever. Yeah. No, house centipedes. They they don't bother me. I mean, they're relatively large for bugs in our area. But, like, I don't know. They eat other bugs and shit, dude. They ain't hurting no one. Most of the time, they're just kind of chilling on the wall. Not doing a damn thing. 
But Noodle hates all bugs. It really doesn't matter the kind. They're fast and they're terrifying. They are fast when they want to get... When they want to get moving, they fucking move. I'll give you that. Bro, where the hell were these three fucking clues at, man? Awesome, oh, bitch. Oh, right there. I saw one. Okay, deal with this. Okay, so two. So that, that could be a safe that we're missing. Or it could just be two random things somewhere, I guess. Can we jump over there? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Waiting for the game to, like, try to throw us back up on land after we land in the water and it just fuck up. Get us, like, stuck forever. Is it down there somewhere, maybe? Like, where all the ghosts were attacking us at? Like, we're getting pretty close to the end here. It's got to be somewhere. <laughs> Damn it. We put out the candle, but didn't actually smash the thing. Nothing around here. Can you like break these and go across there or something? No. If anybody sees it, feel free to call it out, but I'm not seeing shit, dude. Free one up, thank you. Hate wasting the time, but I guess we'll check this side again. Got them all. Okay, okay. <laughs> the house. <laughs> I, oh, just because of a little centipede. Oh, you're talking about the the wolf spider that Noodle saw on the bathroom wall or whatever. It wasn't that big of a deal, man. It was just a little spider. Okay, it was a pretty big one, but like <laughs> at the end of the day, it's still just a spider. Like it ain't hurting nothing either. It was just chilling on the wall. I guarantee you it's more scared of you than... Okay, look. Maybe not more scared of you than you are of it, but I guarantee you it's very scared of you. <laughs> I, I don't know how bad you are, but I know how bad Noodle is. And chances are, no, Noodle's more scared of the spiders than they are of her, because <laughs> Noodle is fucking terrified of spiders. Most spiders want nothing to do with people, man. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Normally, I make fun of her because she calls, uh, like, spiders and shit huge and then they'll be tiny. But no, that one was actually pretty big. It was a big boy. Bro, where the hell is are these last two at? We got one more area to go through. Bugs aren't that bad, man. You need them to live. Bugs are friends. There's one. Okay, we need one fucking more. It could be hidden anywhere, though. I was really hoping it'd be a safe, because safes are easier to spot. But... Of course not. That'd be too easy. Oh my god, it could literally be fucking anywhere, dude. I mean, we already checked over here, but we'll check again. Yeah, dude, I do want jumping spiders as pets. Jumping spiders are cute. They're tiny. They're flurry. Flurry? They're furry. 
they don't really bite people. And they're not, like, venomous to people at all. Gladly pay taxes for drones that emulated where the fuck flies to. <laughs> oh, the fuck? Wait, our goggles point one out if we see one, right? Which means we don't see any. Bro. I kind of forgot about that with the goggles, or I would have been using them throughout the rest of the level, too. Oh, boy. Um, let's get rid of the ghost real quick. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. I didn't know they were going to fly all the way over here. I thought they would stay the fuck over there. Come on, just give me, just give me a sign, game. Oh, I see it. I fucking see it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay how do we can we can we roll do we just have to jump over there there we go dude that's a good hidden one man that's fucking in there but all right that's all of them just go to the fucking end Get the fucking thing. This better be worth it. It's probably going to be some sort of bullshit. Some sort of move that we don't even want. Like... Okay, okay. This is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. One, two, eight. One of these days, I just want him to be wrong, man. Gives us a code we put in and it doesn't work. He starts getting awkward and embarrassed. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Nay and Chocobo. Down to zero, man. I'm sure if you ask nicely, somebody will give you a little bit of points. I mean, you did give out millions. I love how we did all that work for that fucking safe, though, and it really was useless, man. Just enemy info, like... Mojo Dupree, Urgentia Voodooium, enjoys golf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least it's fun info about about the enemies. <laughs> like, oh. All right. How do we how do we get to the next section? Where 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 are we? What are we doing? I'm assuming we can't just walk through this, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Can I get information about him, though? Oh, you also enjoy golf. Or is that the one I was looking at before? Might have been the same guy I was looking at before. Uh... You want to spot me? I'll get you back, please. <laughs> Don't feed his addiction, man. Don't be an enabler. Okay, we're gonna try breaking all the candles. Maybe we gotta break all the candles to get in behind that that purple haze there. Apparently all these guys enjoy golf. I was kinda hoping it would be more personalized notes for each one. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, 
Okay, well, we'll ignore that one for now. Go over to this one, maybe. The Lair of the Beast. That's not foreboding at all. Which time do we got? Yeah, we got time. Just gotta be quick. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Uh, based off of the name of the level, I'm guessing in. I think in would be the correct answer. And whatever it is, we're probably going to have to deal with it, so that's fun. Oh, we could probably just break the candles, actually, instead of trying to jump over them. Okay, <laughs> I want to like I I want to look around and try and get all the fucking clues again, but at the same time I'm like, dude, I can always come back and do that later. We just need to beat the level. If we're lucky. Maybe it'll be pretty easy to spot. So far, it hasn't been too bad. No, <laughs> that's fine. God, there are enemies out the ass here, dude. Oh, I should have looked at one of the spiders. Got some information about it. Maybe it likes playing golf too, dude. If the spiders played golf, would you like them then, Noodle? You gotta admit, that'd be pretty cute, right? <laughs> Just no. Come on, little spider standing up on, like, its hind legs, trying to use its uh other six arms to hold a golf club and it's just not working out like lucas that's the only one see that's the kind of jumping spider i want is the kind that uh looks similar to lucas like that lucas is modeled after so we could have a f real life lucas man not missing any notes right That kind, or the ones with the dancing butts. So those are cute, yeah. I forget the name of them, so that you can look them up. But if you look up a dancing spider, I'm sure you could find them, if anybody wanted to. But they're really cute, dude. Like, they have cute uh, patterns on them, and then they, yeah, they dance. <laughs> they basically, they basically twerk. That's hilarious. Peacocking? I mean, they are peacocking. I don't remember if they're called peacock spiders. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I never watched, like, the entire series, but I watched it growing up on Cartoon Network, yeah. I actually really like that show. I wonder if it's on streaming anywhere. I don't think Noodle, you really like it, though, do you? So I wouldn't mind watching it again. Like, actually watching it from beginning to end. The Sentient Spider? I don't remember that one, that episode. If I saw it, I might remember it, but, like I said, I never saw the whole series or anything like that. Just whenever it was on, I always watched it growing up. Yeah, Peacock Spider. So they're really cute. If you're not like Noodle and just absolutely despise spiders just because they're spiders, look up Peacock Spiders. They're great. Oh, shit. Kind of need to hit the circle button.
I wonder, with that ability, the ability to, like, save ourselves in water, I wonder if it's possible to get ourselves stuck in some sort of loop. Because, like, say we were right on the edge of... Well, no, I guess with perfect time you'd be okay. Because I was thinking right at the edge of that slide, if we had fallen, right? And then, uh... Into the water. Oh, God, no. It, it pulls us back out, of course, and puts us back on whatever land we were on last. But if it was right on the edge, would it be possible to to jump and save ourselves? But I suppose it probably would be. Okay, I mean, we died, but we got all the things. That's what's important. <laughs> now we can just focus on getting away from the giant, I guess, snake. Underwater basilisk? Kind of, yeah. Maybe we gotta get its fang and destroy the horcruxes. Oh, Noodle, you know what we should have time for tonight? If you want to, we can uh, watch the second episode of the, the Lord of the Rings show, the one that we haven't watched yet. Oh, you were going to ask that, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I do got the game tonight, of course, but we should have enough time after the stream, maybe while we eat dinner or whatever. Let's go. Wait, where's the uh, the safe? Is it up here, too? Why did I hit the thing? You don't hit the key until you get the safe, dude. Hopefully the safe's at the beginning. I mean, we got time to hop back in real quick, but, like... When do you want the oven hit preheated? Go ahead and preheat it now. Um, and then whenever it's preheated, well, it probably won't be preheated until I get downstairs, actually. I was going to say you could go ahead and put the burgers in, but I'll take care of that. Okay, safe, safe, safe. Where? Oh, I wonder if the binoculars have any neat information about the underwater basilisk, bro. My turn to cook dinner. Noodle has been cooking dinner lately. She's not really much of a cook usually, but uh, she's been trying and actually doing very well. So silent round of applause for Mr. Noodle, dude. Now, burgers, the ones we're making are, like, the easiest thing in the world to cook because you just basically put them in the oven, <laughs> flip them over halfway, give them a little bit of seasoning, but... Meh. Meh you, dude. <laughs> How have I... The safe must have been at the end, which is very annoying. <laughs> Thankfully, the level's not super long, but, like... Gary's laying by the stove. I mean, we can pull the stove out and see if the... Oh my god, what was that? Was that the game, like, trying to get us unstuck from that loop or whatever? Uh, anyways, as I was saying, I doubt it's the uh, mouse, because we patched up that hole pretty good. I mean, mice can eat through, like, anything, so it's possible, but it's unlikely that a field mouse, which is what we had, would do so. They probably just hear noises coming from underneath the floor there. Because, of course, whenever they fucking built the kitchen, which seems to have been an addition to the house, whenever they built it, they didn't really seal it up too well, so... It's basically like an open crawl space under there. Which sucks for the winter time, because <laughs> that floor gets cold as hell. Yeah, it could be that groundhog that we've been spotting outside. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Basculus ain't got shit on us, dude. I've seen Harry Potter. Almost three hours. Yeah, and we're actually an hour short today. Should have been four hours, but... Noodle was having a rough time. 
today because she didn't get much sleep, so I thought I'd let her take a nap. Finish up her nap, rather. I didn't want to wake her up just so I could start streaming. Speaking of, though, guys, uh, I mean, I guess not really speaking of, but anyways, uh, the next game that we're going to be playing, do make sure you get votes in on that relatively soon, because I think we probably only have one stream of this left, maybe two, two mo at most, but, but I'm assuming just one. Um, so if you, if you want to have a say in what game we play next, make sure you do vote on that for completion. Right now, we only have votes for Metal Gear Solid and Kingdom Hearts, so it'll be one of those two, unless we get more in for the other games. These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll oh, just blueprints. Lame. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. That's not that helpful. I mean, I guess whenever we get around to not being able to, or whenever we have another situation where we can't find a clue, it'll probably help with that, but otherwise, meh. Jesse McCartney. <laughs> uh, love, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Jesse McCartney isn't in Kingdom Hearts 1. Now, if you're voting on one of the other Kingdom Hearts games, that's fine, but I need to know which one. <laughs> but... For this upcoming one, we're only going to be rolling on the green ones. But you can still vote on the gray ones if you want to. So I guess I can go ahead and show that list again real quick. Let me uh, pull that up over here. Obviously the first one. But like I said, you can vote on one of the other ones. If that's what you want. Uh, that's the wrong window. I want... This one, there we go. There we go. He's the voice of Ventus slash Roxas, yes. And Noodle is obsessed with him, even though he is married. <laughs> uh, so we have Bully, Crash Bandicoot, Twin Sandy, Crash Tag Team Racing. I mean, I'm not going to read them all off. We've already read them off a couple times. But these are the games that we're going to be uh, rolling on next to complete, the, the green ones. And then the gray ones are ones that we just want to complete eventually. So if anybody hasn't used their free vote, which I think they, pretty much everyone already has, um, or wants to spend a little bit of channel points, which aren't used for much else at the moment, to to vote on one of these things, then you can do that, and we'll uh, we'll add them, we'll add the votes in, and then we'll roll. I think people have seen at this point how it works, but this doesn't count to be clear. But I click this button. Here, it gives us a random number eventually, in this case number one, so that would be Kingdom Hearts is what we'd be completing. Turn it off, click it again, in a moment it gives us a new number, and in this case number three, which would be Metal Gear Solid 2. For some reason it's also <laughs> highlighting Kingdom Hearts, so obviously I need to fix my, my highlighter thing. But uh, <laughs> just in case anybody hasn't seen, already seen how it works. I think pretty much everyone has at this point. But yeah, um, I need to fix my code for that. Because it should not have been highlighting Kingdom Hearts. It should have only been highlighting Metal Gear Solid. But anyways, that's fine. I'll figure that off off cam. As for now, though, thank you so much, everybody, for coming and hanging out with me for a bit tonight. I do appreciate it, as always. I hope to see you guys tomorrow with uh, whatever PS2 game we play. Uh, have a good night, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. That the Balrog's doing, but we can drain some AP. Oh, that drains for the entire party. Didn't expect that. That's cool. Okay, so maybe we didn't have to do the Fellowship Grace thing, but it's too